Hi, I'm Jagadi Pika, working as a SAP consultant at Target Integration. Today, I will brief you about Procure to Pay process in SAP Business by Day set. This is the SAP Business by Day user interface. To start our process, I will create a purchase request. Let me take you to the purchase request and order work center. So this is the one. Here I will choose on purchase request. And then click on new and then purchase request. Here you need to choose product ID. I will choose a cylinder. And then you need to give quantity. And then shift to location ID. I will choose as Almakers Heating London and that's it. If you check here, it will show you whether all the necessary details have been updated or not. I will click on check. As you can see the notification, check complete purchase request contain no errors. No, I can now I can save this. Yes. Purchase request ID 1546 saved. Now I can release this. So this is how you need to create purchase request. And now I have to create the purchase order. To do the same, let me take you to the purchase request and order work center. Here I need to choose purchase request. And then here I need to select the all purchase request and click on click here to execute the query. Then we need to select the respective purchase and click on new purchase order. So this is the one which I have created now. Now I will click on new purchase order. So the system will copy all the respective data from the purchase request. Now I need to select the supplier from whom we are receiving the materials. So I will choose AMS Limited. As you can see here, I will choose AMS Limited. And then I will change the delivery date as today's date. So I'm going to change all the date to today's date so that I can process all the steps without any hiccups. Since it is a demo process, I can perform the steps without any delay. Then we need to save the document. Now I will click on save. Yes, purchase order ID 1105 saved. Now we need to click on the order. Once we click on the order, the order will be sent to the supplier. Once it comes to 100%, it will be saved. Yes, now purchase order ID 110 sent to the supplier. Yes, 100200. Now we need to post a goods receipt to execute the, this task. I will go to the inbound logistic work center. Inbound logistics. Here we need to select purchase orders. Select on post good receipt. So this is the when we have created the purchase order. So I will choose the post good receipt. Here you need to enter the delivery notification ID. I will give it as double six double seven double eight, and then I have to give the actual quantity. So I will give as ten. That's it. Now I can post this. Now click on save and close. It will be saved. Yes, inbound delivery one nine six seven created. Now we need to create the supplier invoice. To execute the same, the user need to go to the Supplier Invoicing Work Center. Supplier Invoicing Work Center. Here, user need to select on Invoice Entry. Here, the user need to select the respective inbound delivery. Then, you need to select the new invoice. So, this is the one we have created. 
so i will give new now i will click on new invoice it will take time to upload so here i need to give external document id here we can enter the supplier invoice number received from the supplier is 1098 and then invoice date i will give as today's date and receipt date also today's date and the posting date also i will be giving today's date and that's it you can check the product id all that here now i will click on save once it is saved you can click on post yes document sav2625 saved now i can post this invoice has been created now we need to release the payment to the vendor to execute this task i will take you through the payable work center here we need to select supplier accounts and the system will display all the suppliers from there we need to choose the respective supplier and click on view so this is my supplier now i will click on view now the system will display the invoices pertaining to this supplier as you can see here so this is the one i have to run the payment so i will choose this one now we have to click pay manually by and click on outgoing check here i need to give the check number and the bank details so i will give the check number and then i need to select the bank account since i have only one bank account it got automatically selected if you have many you can choose from here and that's it now i can post this we have to wait up to 100% yes now it got saved and this is how you have to run the process and the user can create the procure to pay process